So we have Hazel, Nevada, 35 Pisces, no kids, never married, does customer service. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Okay. Okay. So please, please, I don't get it. Okay. So people don't understand the significance of, I like seafood. <laughs> you know the compatibility with people? They don't like what you like. Like, I like seafood. I like steak. I like, like food. I like to eat good, right? Some people, if they don't like that, it's kind of not a term. It's expensive. <laughs> Kendra, tell <laughs> It's expensive. I mean, yeah. But which, what I like, okay, so I like certain things. So I'm outgoing. I love a guy who's mature. I want you to, I don't have kids, but, but if you have kids, that's fine because I do love a man who's involved with his children. So if you're a full time father, because some people have custody of their kids, which is so cr out here crazy. Out here or California, because you just came to California, what, a year now? Mm -hmm. Okay. They're different out there. I don't know if you know this, but, but you're in a relationship with the, the men. They're just, the men are different, <laughs> the dating pool. So, but you wouldn't know because you're in a relationship. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it, but that wasn't my experience. But I do know that it is for the, yes. You are correct. Oh my God. You know, it behooves me that your hoes be walking around here stinking, funk, funk, kitty cat looking ass. You hear me? And just got them all out those. The first, she come onto the screen. Kendra said, What kind of man you looking for? She just said, I like seafood. She just went on this whole rant. And the first thing, I'm like, Yo, Kuda kind of stank. If you just come in here like, I like seafood, I bet you it smell like red lobster down there. See? Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Uh. <laughs> then Cheddar Bay Biscuits is delicious. All right. Ain't go cat, but ain't trying to be in between the sheet smell and Cheddar Bay Biscuits. It's a problem then. See that? See that uh, perspective and, and context? Cheddar Bay Biscuits at the dinner table? Good. The smell and aroma in the bedroom? Absolutely egregious. And she up here, she was so proud of that. She said, yeah, seafood is expensive. And she was so proud of that. She was like, these ninjas, not only they don't like it, but they too broke. That was that was her trying. That was weird. But she was puffing her chest up on that. And then she go, what else did she say here, man? She looked like she got a, a little funny smell to her. But social awkwardness is at a million. She appeared. She, she trying to talk about all the men in L.A. She was trying to get Kendra to co-sign. But Kendra, like, I found the man. Then and not just that was the most egregious. She said, Kendra, you wouldn't know because you got a man. No, y'all are not in the same dating pool. Kendra don't know nothing about what you got going on besides her exposure on this show to y'all madness. And when we gotta respect that she don't. She does she ain't dealing with dudes that deal with you. But but on question, like we all the same. Everybody floats down here, Kendra. All right, come on. <laughs> and she 10 years younger than Kendra. She 35 years old with no kids. Oh my goodness. And you 10 years younger than Kendra, and Kendra got a, a heck of a leg up on you in the marketplace. Should take some offense to that, younger ladies. <laughs> And black silver chair says you see food and you eat food. Seafood. I love to eat. I love to eat. <laughs> I know a lot of people that have challenges with dating in California, but continue. So, but you live in Nevada. <laughs> yeah, but I'm from California. Only been in Nevada for a year and a half. Okay. So, you know what's so crazy, Kendra? And I couldn't wait to talk to you. So I had my fibroids removed last year. Okay. And you experienced the same thing. I did. I had my fiber. I had fiber surgery a year ago. Mines were as big as a watermelon. Oh wow, mines weren't that big. Thank God, because just like you can, you, you know. So, and then you went on the leave. You were on bed rest and everything, and you got everything taken care of. That is a real thing, and people don't understand that. So, when I say I don't have kids, infertility issues. So. 
fibroid. Well, that's test. not why. I, but, but just FYI, I respect yours, but that's not why I got my fibroid. No, 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 no. But fibroids has something to do with infertility issues too. Like you just, okay. it, it, it's a lot going on in the women's body, and men. That's sometimes weird. men don't understand that. But I'm all for adoption, um, IVF, and all of that, all of that good stuff. Because I would love to have a child or children, so I am open to that. Um, so I'm just looking for a man that's open, understanding, looking for a woman that's like all women um cook clean all the fun stuff all the good stuff um we're in vegas we're in nevada um so gambling drinking uh all the stuff out here i'm all for it dancing there's karaoke but when i say eat the eating part the seafood <laughs> no, i'm serious about that okay <laughs> because there's a lot of people and not not even allergic to shellfish but just don't do seafood you stank. I can see it on that wig. Everything about this woman, it just reeks. I'm sorry. And she gonna come up here and say, Ken they up here talking about hysterectomies or whatever. And she said, Kendra, this, this is part of infertility. Kendra said, no, that ain't my issue. Kendra said, I can have kids. Although uh, evidence is proven otherwise, Kendra, respectfully, you know, you have no children at almost 50. You know, and she said, I ain't, and the woman, she said, Kendra, I ain't trying to be doing IVF and freezing eggs. So is that part of having a bare wound? I don't know, man. Yeah, that was cringe. Again, this is to trying to bring Kendra into her world. This is wicked. I kind of feel for you. That ain't cool. And here we go. This is the gynocracy in Order 66, like, eating itself. Because Kendra, she down for it. But this woman pulling Kendra down further. We all float down here, Kendra. I got fibroid issues, and so do you. Kendra, like, okay, maybe some truth there. I had an issue. I had a little surgery. She's like, yeah, I got inf I'm infertile, yada, yada. Kendra, like, relax now. Kendra, like, relax. That ain't me. She said that could happen. And boom, she's like, nah, Kendra, because men don't understand. We got a lot of messed up stuff going on with us. With us. Kendra, like, shit. Says I'm 35 and she is 35 than me, <laughs> 35 years older than me. She's all my life. I had to fight 35. Like Gav said, this sister here, she got that weird, pungent, sour scent to not a scent, older <laughs> to her, non desirable. <laughs> Everything from her breath to her armpits to her wig, all the way down to her cuticata and her feet. Presentation is key, ladies. You have a wonky presentation and dusty like this, it gives off an aroma. And it's oh. a different smell from head to feet. So it's almost like walking a buffet, if you will. All right, you're going to start off at the, you know, the seafood section, and you're probably going to end at the seafood section. God, God, dog. Her toes smell like fish. <laughs> but, um, but I just want to be compatible. I want to want you to be interested in the same thing I'm interested in. I love music, live music, um, old school stuff. I'm 35, but I still like everything. Frankie Beverly just passed away. Rest in peace. But I'm into all of everything. I'm into everything. Okay. So I'm looking for somebody who's on my same page. That's it. Okay. Don't have your head cut off. Remember that. Sorry. Sorry. What are your deal breakers, honey? Deal breakers. Um, I don't want a cigarette smoker. That's it. Okay. No Don't cigarette. be abusive in a, a cigarette or a smoker. Okay. And should he look a certain way? <laughs> Here we go. Just be attractive. Okay. Be attractive. You, you know the, the what every woman wants. It's the same. That's uh, same thing. Kendra, the same thing. So what is that? You want tall, dark, and handsome? Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Should he make a certain amount of money? No. That okay, you one for sure, money. especially out here, you can make everything out here in Nevada. So, no. Listen, to the Kendrick you kid. a lie. And the truth ain't in you. The truth ain't in this woman. She says she want a man tall, dark, and handsome. She wants the same thing every woman wants. Well, do you look like a woman that qualifies for said man? What do he want? Is he just a mindless, heartless being? 
Do he not want nothing? That's my struggle with this every time. And she arrogant. You hear what, what kind of man you looking for? And she do that. She got that arrogant little chuckle. It, be cute. You see me. You see what I'm giving, Kendra. At least be attractive, Ninja. That's her demeanor. That's what she's saying. All right. We read between the lines. He's the queen. She's showing she like that smirk, that laugh, that evil laugh. She like, you see what's on this screen, Kendra. Beauty. So you ask me what kind of man I want. And Kendra said, tall, dark, handsome. Please. Thank you. Why would you ask me when you know what I want? That's why she said thank you so quick. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. Don't make me say it. Okay. We see you, girl. So, okay. Woo. Oh. This woman drunk. She up in there with no kids. She done had a watermelon size hysterectomy or something removed from her cuticata. <laughs> I don't one. know. That's, that's what she said. And she got this wig going. Look, was well, she going to stop and pose for you? Yeah, I wanted to say something about that. Yeah, you know, shout out to the ladies, you know what I mean? Let's take care of themselves and got to go through this these issues. But this is up here joking and playing. And, the, and sisters like this, they exaggerate looking for sympathy and empathy. She came up here trauma dumping about her fibroid journey. And she says she had something inside of her somewhere that was the size of a watermelon. All right. Now, we got to stop playing around. Like when you say that, everybody's thinking of a, a seeded, grown, fully grown ripe watermelon that dad gonna think about this big all right now if you talk about when it's <laughs> when it first germinate so was it the size of a of a of an apple <laughs> you know what i mean it's cap she did not have a mass the size of a watermelon inside her body show it to us you should have it hanging on your mantle as a trophy let's see it <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Two years ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Go have your head. Hazel, can you see Sorry. yourself? Sir, I can see it. It's so funny because when I watch you and I see people and I, I'm like, I look, I'm looking at myself. I look like I got my head right here. But um, two weeks ago. Is that for Nasty. an option? Mm, no, because he doesn't. He doesn't want nothing serious. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Can we? Holy hell. That's all she care about. She out in Vegas throwing that cuda cotta around recklessly. She says she just moved out there. She having fun, drinking, getting high. Those are her words. And she just sleeping around. <laughs> Did she say that? I missed that. Yeah, she but... said that's what you do in Vegas. That's what she said. That's a that's a bet. She the last guy she hunched two weeks ago, not an option for a relationship. Why? Because he don't want one. He told her to her face it was a one night stand. It was a hunch and go, smash and dash. Say that. Say no. Nah, we just hunched. It wasn't nothing serious. You know, a little alpha widow. You know, little little imprinted on. But I'm here, drunk, hied up, goofy, got bug eyes. That's nasty. The last guy she hunched on was a guy she desires. Now you, some weird, unstable, simping <laughs> ninja, got to come in here and make it all better. You got to do better than her hunching man. <laughs> and, and there's a strong possibility that she is selling Kuda Kata. She said, I'm out in Vegas, Kendra. She said, how much money he got to make? She said, you can make money all types of ways out here. It's limitless. I mean, you can. And it is a different world out there. It's different. You know, it's a playground for debauchery. If you, you know, if you ain't got no self-respect, you can run run wild out there. Yeah. 304 is legal, huh? It's wicked. Huh. There's no host bar. Yeah, if it's legal, they gonna do it. Yeah, it's it's nasty. Chernobyl. <laughs> <sighs> so I'm impatient sometimes. Um indecisive at times. And I they affiliate that with women in general, 
were just indecisive. And I have kind of a short temper because I don't like stupidity. So some people have a college degree and stuff, and you expect certain things for certain people, certain men of a certain caliber. And when you have those conversations with them, you're engaging in that conversation. And some people are a little, you ain't got time for stupid. That's it. For... That's it. Okay. No time for stupid. 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 Okay. Stupid. Stupid. Not not the little stupid. The big stupid, Kendra. Like the, you know, there's common sense, and then there's like the ones like you really didn't understand what she meant by that, or you did, you didn't. I don't like stupid. Don't be stupid. Mm-mm. Wait. Mm-hmm. Floss. Hmm. That should have been in your deal. Breakers. No, I don't. I'm impatient. I don't like stupid. Like I will. I have a short fuse for it. So I, I think you. that's that's okay. a, that's a flaw. That's a flaw. I need to work on it. Okay. Hey, so when's the last time you was? In, oh, I already asked that question. <clears throat> Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? <laughs> hey, so have you been um, drinking or smoking? No, I want to smoke. I want some edibles. I want something. It I want to drink. Like you want, it seemed like you want something, Hazel. How? Uh, I don't know. How? That last impression. Really? How? Maybe Kendra. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. The Kendra, movie. please express. Tell me. Because you're talk, you're talkative, and sometimes you go in a whole different direction, and the way you were laughing at certain things. But I could be wrong. I mean, clearly I'm wrong because you didn't do anything. No, but that's why I said I want to because I'm in Vegas. So th- that's just what you do out here. But um, why would Wait, are you visiting nothing? Vegas or do you live in Vegas? No, I live in Vegas. Okay. And Kendra up here like, I'm starting to get a tinge of like crack. And she said, how, Kendra? Tell me why I'm normal. <laughs> what would make you say that? Tell me, Kendra, let me know. This I don't know what that was about. You know, yes, I do. She said, I dare you. She said, you going to check me? She said, you about to go against Order 66. That was a light files, what y'all saw. And Bonquisha down here, crab, <laughs> two of the toes, Bonquisha said, go ahead, Kendra. I dare you to reiterate on exactly what you mean by that. You trying to embarrass me up here? That's against the code of Order 66. You will, you will get a warning, all right? Yeah, that's what that was. She said, okay, Kendra, I see you. She said, I have to get a little squabble on that. You don't call her drunk. <laughs> oh, man. Got you. All right, let's not go off tangent. That's my fault. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, Very outgoing, very loving, nurturing, um, up for anything and everything. Um, Very submissive, very loving. Just that's what I just, ooh, I'm more. I care for you. I will uplift you. Like it's just everything in me is for a man. It's it's for a relationship. People okay. date to marry. I'm I'm all for it. So that's it. Do you want a guy in Nevada? Um, no. no. They're a little crazy out here. Uh, California, Utah, Arizona, the surrounding areas around here. Okay. What's the age range you would date? I'm 35, so 40 to 60. 40 to 60. Could he have kids already? Absolutely. I would love a father. If you have if you have kids, if you guys have children, please bring them here. Bring them here. I do hair. I know how to braid. I know how to sew. I know how to weave. Your daughter, if you have a daughter, her hair gonna be on point. I will learn how to cut. I will learn how to barber, do everything. I'm up for everything. So bring them here. Okay. Single dads with children. Here is your new, here's your new kid stepmom. <laughs> Hazel, are you on the Kendra G singles dating app? I actually am. Okay, is your name Hazel? Oh, was it 
Hazel or was it O oh, Baby? It's either Hazel or O oh, Baby. It's O H H B A B Y Wait, or Hazel. Can we try O oh, Baby first? Yeah, either or. I'm what? I'm on the app though. Can you spell it? O H H. And I'm gonna let them get that figured out. So here we go. Hazel, 35 no kids. If I was to ask y'all to guess and say who is the youngest person on the screen right now, you wouldn't guess Hazel. But she's younger than all of us, including Kendra. <laughs> God, dog. I like that. I like the way you painted that dog, dog picture. It's over for this sister. Yeah, Hazel. <laughs> Hazel don't know which way is up, man. She laughing at everything. She thinks everything's a joke with her puffy eyeballs. I don't know what she getting in out there in Vegas. She just hunched two weeks ago. We know exactly what she getting into in Vegas. Hunching and drugs. Sin City. What art do you expect to find out there? I, I couldn't imagine never been to Vegas. Too poor, too broke. But, yeah, I would imagine that it's a lot of this. Yeah, the city don't sleep. Yeah, I don't know. It's, that that got to be crazy to live out there. Yeah, yeah. I guess if you young, spry, you know, out at in your 20s, I could get it. You could, you like the Energizer Bunny. You running, running the streets, partying, drinking, raising heck, painting the town red, but she ain't that. Like you said, she older than all of us. Time to settle down. Okay, I don't know what just happened. Uh-oh. Okay, no. Nope. I am now is 35, right? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Okay. Oh, is ooh. What did John say? Okay, no. Nope. I am now convinced. People So, she hung up on Kendra. I don't know what happened, but we got enough from her and listen. Huh. Yeah, she she threw a little bit of something on there at the end. She said, you know, if you got kids, this is a Kendra first uh, squeegee kid. She said, bring your kids. She, she did a good job at, at selling herself there. She said, come on. She said, if you got a daughter, she said, I know how to weave, crochet, install, glue, all that. She said, bring them here. And if you got a boy, I will learn how to cut hair. That was, that was semi-impressive. I can respect it, but no. Hex, no. You ain't her. <laughs> but good try. <laughs> All right. And shout out to TJ. Says, I can smell that weed through my television. Mm. So it's a lot of, a lot of vinegary smells. You know, that pungent stings the nostrils. <laughs> And Tristan says, Kendra looks like she got smacked in the face with a stick of gamma radiation. Man, listen here. That filter is filtering. It's egregious. <laughs> Man, because she every, Kendra up there every shade of orange. And this woman down here, she lacking all of her melanin. I don't know what's going on. My goodness, man. Yeah, what is that? That is egregious, ladies. I don't care how y'all try to spin it. You got on a wig, makeup, filter, probably fake eyebrows, fake eyelashes. Y'all will do y'all lips to where it makes them look fuller. What I'm saying is we have no idea what you actually look like. Pure catfish. Y'all need to do better than that. Take Y'all want how you do better? Eat better. Eat better because that bad stuff starts to come out your pores. I think we talked about that during the Regal Rumble. Ladies, eat better. Takis, salty chips, not your friend. So here we go. We're going to keep it moving. This woman here, I don't know, send her into space and let her figure it out. There we go. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> we got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. I hope you find some peace of mind. Yeah, and that, that was merciful because it really ain't no saving that. That's for sure. That's all. She just in the realm of space forever. That's all. She having a good time up there. <laughs> uh, make sure y'all hitting the like button.